My name is Noah Brooks, and before I accepted the head coaching job at Northern Illinois University, I was a high school quarterback for DeKalb High School in Illinois and was looking to earn a college scholarship my senior year. Headed into the season, I had three top teams in my mind. Number one was the team I had grown up rooting for my entire life. Living in DeKalb had made me a huge NIU fan and would love to play for them. Number two was my other favorite school. It would be insane to get to experience jump around at Camp Randall as the starting quarterback for the Badgers. And finally, number three, well, this was more so for my parents who wanted me to get a top-notch education at school. Our season schedule had finally released though, and it was time for my senior season to start. Coming into this year as an unranked prospect, I had to do everything I could to show off for college coaches around the country. I only had seven games this season to show them what I was capable of doing if our team didn't make the state playoffs, so I went right to work on our very first drive and got my team into the end zone. Not only was I able to throw the ball, but I was able to run it too, as I would show the scouts that with my first rushing touchdown, and I was having a great start to my senior season season as we would go up by 21 early on in this game. It wasn't even the end of the first quarter yet and I had already thrown for three touchdowns against the Carroll Stream defense tonight so far. And after tacking on another rushing touchdown that would put us up by 49 points, coach would have me sit the rest of the game after that performance as I had already become a two-star quarterback with that single game stat line and had almost earned my first full scholarship from the NIU Huskies. If I played well enough tonight in our second game of the season, there was a real possibility that I could receive my first ever scholarship. Scholarship. And thankfully, I seemed to be off to a hot start as I'd quickly help my team find the end zone this drive. Champaign High School was putting up more of a fight this week than the Carroll Stream defense did last week against us, but I was still finding ways to succeed against them and get us into the end zone. That success continued throughout the first half for me as I would find my third passing touchdown of the first half and would actually get a chance to keep playing in the second half of our game this week against Champaign, where I would throw for two more touchdown passes before coach decided to take me out of the game as we would pick up our second win in a row to start the season and I had officially become a three-star quarterback who now had full ride offers from NIU, Purdue, and Northwestern. It was time to see if we could play on the road though. We had started the season 2-0 thanks to my stellar play so far but this was our first road game of the season and I think it was safe to say we were off to a good start. After getting my team down the field against the Wilmette defense we would go up 14 to nothing. but then my first mistake of the season would come as I would try to take a deep shot across the middle and got a little too green as I would throw my first interception of the season, so I had to immediately make up for it right after our defense got a stop by running this one in on the ground. It seemed as though I'd put that interception behind me as I was still dicing up the defense throughout the air as well tonight, but my confidence might have been too high still as I would throw my second interception of the game. Thankfully, I had great short-term memory and put it behind me as I was able to go out after that second mistake and not only rush for one touchdown against the Wilmette defense right before halftime, but I would make it two more against them with this dagger half halfway through the third quarter, and our team would pick up its first road win of my senior season as I had perhaps one of my best games of the season yet despite those two picks, and was so close to becoming ranked a five-star quarterback. After that game, Wisconsin offered me a full-ride scholarship, and I had even cracked the top 150 ESPN prospect rankings as well. We were back at home for the next game of the season, looking to stay undefeated against Arlington Heights, as a win here tonight plus a great performance could mean big things for my future. If I could play tonight, as well as I have throughout the previous games so far this season, I had a legitimate shot at becoming a five-star quarterback. That meant a lot of new schools would start looking at me and possibly recruiting me as well, which would be huge. I think this was the throw that scouts saw that sealed the deal for them and would earn me a five-star ranking as my team would pick up the win against Arlington Heights to stay undefeated. And sure enough, I'd become a five-star ranked quarterback and even received my first scholarship offer from an SEC school. We now only had two games left in the season and were two wins away from going undefeated in my senior year. And I had another fantastic performance this week against Maple Park High School with six touchdown passes as we were now one win away from going undefeated and I was the 34th ranked prospect in the country. Our last game of the season was back at home as we were taking on the winless Cicero High School to end the year. And as expected, we absolutely dominated this team and I wouldn't even get to play the second half against them as we had completed our undefeated 7-0 regular season. Not only now did I have a long list of schools wanted me to come play for them next year, but I had the chance to try and win a state championship with my high school team as well. We were taking on Joliet High School in the first round of the playoffs and got the ball to start the game and were looking very good on our opening drive as I had helped our offense get down the field and would find the end zone on our very first possession. Joliet was proving to be a much tougher opponent than any other team we had played this season though, but I was doing my absolute best to try and keep my team ahead of them. To help that cause, I would get my team down the field for one more touchdown before the second, but 
but Joliet would tie it up and our offense would only manage one touchdown the entire second quarter against them. It was only a one possession game as we were halfway through the third quarter tonight and this is about when our offense would finally start pulling away from them and building up our lead as we would get one more touchdown right before the end of the third quarter to go up by 27 and would secure a second round matchup for ourselves with the win. Our second round matchup was on the road against the Blue Island High School Colonels and we would get out to an early 14 to nothing lead over them tonight. It was looking like this game could be a blowout if we kept playing the way we were tonight as Blue Island had still not put any points on the board yet but would finally get some on this play as I would scramble for a first down but Clint Oldenburg would be called for a holding in the end zone. I desperately wanted to make up for those lost points so I would march my team down the field and find the end zone on our following possession and that drive seemed to light a fire under our team as we kept building our lead over them. We would tack on one more touchdown before the end of the first half and it would only take us a minute to score to open up the second half. We were so far ahead at this point in the third quarter that I knew it was only a matter of time before coach took me out and after this play turned into a huge touchdown I knew my day would be over as thanks to a great performance from me in tonight's matchup we were headed to the state semifinals. This game was supposed to be the toughest game we had played all season long but I'll be honest it sure didn't feel like it to us. My team was off to an amazing start as we would go up 21 to nothing over Bensonville in the second quarter and that lead was only continuing to grow for us throughout the first half. It was nearing halftime and the Bison still had not put up any points on the board so we would decide to tack on another touchdown to go up by 35 and things were just getting downright ugly at this point as we'd go up by 42 before halftime. I knew I wasn't going to stay in the game very much longer tonight so I would throw for two more touchdowns and that win tonight for our team meant we would be playing in the state championship. Not only was I playing in the state championship but I was a five-star quarterback who had full right offers from schools across the entire country. If I played well tonight in this game I figured I could squeeze out another one or two scholarships but that was not what I was focused on at all tonight in this matchup. My only priority tonight was winning my high school its first ever state championship. Our defense would end up giving a touchdown to Maywood before the end of the first quarter, so I would answer right back with a touchdown of our own after finding Craig Ostrander wide open. We would follow that up with another unanswered touchdown for us, as all of a sudden, our lead was starting to quickly expand over Maywood in the state championship game tonight. It wasn't even the end of the first half yet, and we had just gone up 49-7 over them with this touchdown, and we would tackle on one more to Craig Ostrander before the end of the first half with less than a minute to go. Coach wasn't playing around tonight as he would leave me in for the entire third quarter before pulling me out as our team would clinch the big win in this game and I would end my high school career as an Illinois state champion quarterback. The tough part now though was deciding what team I would sign with for my college career over the next four years. So I would leave it up to you guys to tell me down below in the comment section what team I should sign with that have offered me a scholarship and that is where we will start the next episode in my college career.